What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're checking in on Desolate, a game we haven't seen for a while. This one came out like a year or so ago in early access and only like the first chapter of the game was in. But recently the game actually had a full and complete release on Steam, so the game should be done at this point. It's in 1.1 right now. If you never played it before, it's kind of like a stalker-esque metro kind of little bit of Bioshock in their free roaming combat game where you've got to like reactivate beacons and things of that nature. So we're gonna check in on the game, see what it's got going on, see if it's worth our time. Let's dive straight on in. Uh, yeah, I will play the prologue actually. That sounds like a really, really good plan. Let's do the prologue and we'll kind of see what happens as we go through. We did it, Donald. We did it. Victor, are you okay? Everything's fine, Donna. Everything's perfect. You need to get out of there, quickly. I'll use the sensors to try and help you. Be careful. I beg you. Alright. So long live the new light. Okay. Alright, door. Alright. I see what's going on. I can press the T key to get my flashlight up, and I feel like that's a really, really good plan. So off we go. Got some piping, some plumbing, some tanks over here that are probably full of something terrible. We've got a cabinet right here that's got N and K inside of it, just in case you're looking for letters. Spare letters to help you get through. Can I push? Oh, there's a squished guy right there. See, that's why I don't mess around when I'm inside warehouses around racks and stuff. Otherwise, you get squished. Him. Did he just move? I feel like he just moved. Did he just move? Hmm. I don't feel good. Let's just, like, close this door behind us. Well, we can't close the door. Never mind. I can see you clearly now on the map of the complex. There are blockages ahead of you and no way around. You'll have to get through them. All right. I assume that I probably, like, crouch through that. Yeah, there you go. Left control to crouch. I am a crouching master. Oh, we're in the ventilation system right now when things get diehard. It's like some leaky steam coming out of there right now. Why are these old installations always so leaky? Okay. All right. All right. That was a little shocking, but okay. I jumped a little bit. I'll be honest with you. I jumped a little bit. I'm not afraid to admit it. I'm a man that knows how to accept his flaws. There's something strange here. What do you mean? Wait a minute. I see it. Don't go near it. But what is it, Donna? I've never seen anything like it. Judging by the sensors... This entity emits electromagnetic waves. It could be extremely dangerous. Go around it, but throw something from far away first to figure out how far its effect can reach. I, uh, yeah, try to zap that rat right there. I assume that I can maybe go through this way. I don't think I need to throw anything because honestly, it's got that little blue ring around it right there. It's fairly well obvious where it starts scanning to. Was this not where I was supposed to go? Oh, throw a rock into the rupture? How do I throw a rock into the rupture? Ah, you gotta press the middle mouse button. Okay, there you go. I threw a rock into the rupture, so now it'll maybe open the door for me? Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Make it progress. 47 is here. Can you hear it? Hear it and see it. Do you have any idea what this means? Do you remember how they react to living beings? I'm looking for a way to defend myself in case I run into them on the way out. Don't worry. Well, there you go. I found a crowbar, so maybe we'll be able to use that. Yeah, let's get that thing equipped. Ooh, yeah. We're half life in it now. We will follow the Freeman up out of this compound. Can I whack this rat with it? I'm going to whack this rat. Hold on. Victor, the door is blocked. Give me five seconds. That rat had a lot of blood in it. A surprising amount of blood for one rat. Done. I don't see anything else going on in here. Let's see if we can continue out of the compound. I feel bad. Devil only knows why. Doesn't look like I'm wounded. That's what I was afraid of. One second. There's a dining room ahead of you. Followed by several airmail terminals. Head that way. I'll send a first aid kit to Terminal 5 for you. Just hurry. Alright, it looked like I could search most of the stuff inside of there, but I've got a sneaking suspicion most of it's going to be, like, empty. We've also got canned beef over here. We'll take that. we got canned fish. What is that? We've got some canned rabbit. I 
All right, canned rabbit then, I guess. I've never seen canned rabbit in my life, but I assume that it must exist somewhere. We got a chocolate bar right there. We got an OJ right there. Hell yeah. I love orange juice. Orange juice is one of my favorite things in the entire world. Orange juice is delicious. I will drink so much. If you give me like an endless Advanced. supply of orange juice. Terminal five, Victor. Yeah. One second. I'll make myself sick drinking orange juice. I love it. It's just something about it. So we got a med kit over here. All right, we'll take that. So open the med kit and treat your wounds. Can I put that on like a... Ah, that's much better. Time to keep moving. Okay. Apparently I feel better. I was only missing like a tiny sliver of health, so I was hoping I could hold onto it for later, like once I get out of this place. Because you never know when you're going to need a med kit. Like in video games, med kits can be kind of sacred. So you never know when you're going to need them, but like... Oh well. They'll kill me on the spot if they find me. My own employees of my own conglomerate. Shooting me in the head? God, I need to get to the other side. Yeah, I'll probably attempt to do that. Uh-oh. I was going to say I would love to, like, discreetly hide over here, but... I don't know if that's going to be an option. <laughs> Did he get all of his health back? <laughs> Am concerned. Stop that. Stop that right now, Private Neil. There we go. I'll drop him real fast before he gets a chance to medkit. I'm just going to whoop this dude real fast, too. It would help if I didn't miss, like, half my... Did he heal? I think these dudes are, like, dropping healing spells and stuff or something. I don't know. I feel like all his health came back. Why would all of his health come back? What did he have? He had a NL club. I will take that. It's probably better than what I have. Oh, no, it's not. Never mind. It looked all technological. It had, like, LEDs on it, you know? And when something has LEDs on it, everybody knows that it deals more damage. We also have an NL patch. Okay. I guess that's a trophy or something. Probably not immediately useful, but, hey, I beat a couple guys to death, so how bad could it really be? I'm alive. They're not. Sounds like a mission success to the splatty. Stop. I spotted movement up ahead. Subject 47. Of all the... Can you go around? No. This is the only way. Well, I guess there's no other choice. I'm going to have to kill it. Just be careful. Please. Alright, Subject 47. I don't know why everybody seems to be so afraid of you, but... I've got a feeling that you're probably not, like, crowbar-proof. All right, here we go. I was going to try and sneak up on his ass, but what are you going to do? I seem to be okay. Where to next, Donald? One second. All right. There's a door here. It's locked. I don't have access to it. How can we get you out? Wait, wait, let me think. There's got to be an emergency generator. You need to start it up to get the door open. I don't remember that area. What's there? Behind the door? Freedom, Victor. Alright, use an energy cell to power the generator. Do I have said energy cell? I have a transformer. I don't think that's the same thing. So, like, these are the energy cells right here, maybe? Oh, they are. Nice. It's a good thing that they were just, like, sitting nearby. Easy peasy. Sweet. This area looks like a really, really spooky parking lot. Oh, look, bats. I, I had to. It's my destiny. Like, what are you mumbling to yourself about? Like, I feel like there's a 90% chance that anybody that's just walking around mumbling to themselves about their destiny is probably a crazy person. Of course, they think the worst has already happened to them. How wrong they are. This is 400. I'm your watcher. My task is to guide your activity on Greenwich. 
This includes giving you missions from the New Light conglomerate. You are currently located in Bunker Alpha, one of the safest places on the island. To leave the bunker, you need an access card. Valid question here, now that we're into the real game. If I'm already in one of the safest places on the island, why would I leave? In most games, you're trying to get from danger to safety. We started out in safety. Game's over, everybody. Roll credits. Let's just stay here. I have the card. Time to get out of here. All right. Let's get out of here, I guess. My temperature has changed. I do appear to be kind of cold right now. I don't know if it's on like the same scale as the long dark, but I appear to be kind of chilly at the moment. Is this the... Yeah, there we go. Put the key card in there. What was that? There's more way but forward. Alright, I guess I'll walk into the blinding death light. According to my sensors, they tell me that the door has been opened. That means you have exited the bunker. You are unable to reply at the moment. Two-way communications are down. The island's comm station is not transmitting. You must determine what is wrong with me. Station is located in the Lighthouse of Hope. Okay, so I suppose well, we will head to the you. Lighthouse? On Grinichny. It's been two years since Day X. Our world has changed, become more dangerous, more foreign. And all because of that damn madman. I joined the volunteer ranks at the New Light Conglomerate, wanting to help return our country and the world to the way they once were. Wanting to eliminate all of the horrible things which now filled our planet. The scum that Agnan had birthed into existence. Our ranks weren't just made up of volunteers, of course. They were prisoners, too. But I thought that was fair. This way, they could redeem themselves in the eyes of society, as they proved their usefulness to it. You might find this hard to believe, but Grinichny is pure hell on Earth. That's where it all began. And that's where New Light plans to send it all back to the way it was. In briefing, they told us danger waited for us here, lurking around every corner. Mortal danger. And not just from the creatures that had overrun the island, but also from the illnesses, or so people called the paranormal afflictions. I didn't know much about these things, but I did know I had to stay on my guard. Okay. Well, the first thing I've decided to do is to go cave diving, because I'm just a bad idea factory right now. It looks like there's something down that way. This is definitely different than the last time I played it. The last time I played it, you got the mission briefing at the beginning, but that entire monologue that our character just did was not in the game last time. So it's nice to have a little bit more backstory about, like, how things are working inside the game's universe. I see an herb down here. If I remember right, I think these allow us to heal ourselves. I'm getting some, like, strange, like, frame drops every now and again while playing the game. I don't know if that's, like, a normal thing or what's going on with that, but it's just a thing that I've noticed so far where I'm getting, like, some chunking. Maybe it's still loading the world and the location or something. It looks like this cave comes out in multiple locations. Oh, never mind. That's the way that I came in. Okay. I can't pick up, like, a brick or anything like that. I'm just going to continue down the road. We'll leave this for, like, later once I'm better armed and, like, ready to protect myself. Let's have a look at the landscape real fast and see if there's anything that's jumping out at us. However, with the fog, it's kind of tough to see. I think the last time I played this, you started out near, like, a, a train station or something, too. Oh, that's not a happy sound. The hell is that thing? Yeah, throw, throw a rock at it. There you go. Ding that fool in the face. Yup. Absolutely. Get out of here! Get out of here, you weird creature! Get out of here, you weird zergling dog! I guess maybe rocks are not the best way to kill this thing. There we go. I beat it to death with a stick. Raw meat and a dorg tail. It's a dorgable. It's a dorg. I think we should probably try to train like eight or nine of those just to roll with us like everywhere we go so that we can sacrifice them just in case the fight is too hot and there's a chance of death. There's like an anomaly over there. I mean, nothing happened when I threw a rock into it. What is this? We've got a Reaper blueprint. 
Okay, what's inside the bag? We've got a Labrac mushroom and some rot. I'm gonna take the mushroom, but I'm probably gonna leave the old natural boogers inside the bag real fast. What is this thing over here? Is it like a perderter? An eggplant. Is that what an eggplant actually looks like? They have like a vine that grows up? I've never seen, I've never seen what an eggplant looks like when it just like grows naturally. I've only ever seen the final product inside the store. I don't know what an eggplant looks like. Silence. Oh, weak, dude. Weak. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna need you guys to like... Do they have like iframes when I'm hitting them? That's weird. You just throw... I guess he's dead now, but... Like, I feel like when I first swung at him, he was immune for a second to all the next hits. Like, all the ones that were coming down the pipeline. We're a little bit beat up right now. Where am I trying to go? Like, all the way over there? Your mental state is strained to the limit. I'm frightened at the moment. Well, like, I think I'm, like, looking good. The meter's still white or whatever. I think we're okay. I don't think it's that bad. What do we have going on in here? I've got that for hunger. Does anything in here make me, like, healthier if I eat it? Doesn't look like it. Our health is kind of taking a beating, so we're going to want to play this one close to the chest. I'm going to kill the flashlight just in case that helps enemies, like, see us or anything. There's an electric anomaly over there. Okay. What's inside of here, I wonder? I don't know. You think we should go in? All right. Oh, weak, man. Super, super weak. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like they go immune every now and again. Like, he did, like, a little squat move right there that made him, like, not take damage. Got noodles and some apple juice. All right. I'll take it. I mean, we're getting kind of whooped on right now, though. We got some kind of skill point or something. I can make a salve, which regenerates 10% health. I can also make... I guess I'll just make a salve. I don't really feel like I have much other option. Well, there you go. We're regenerating a little bit. Hopefully, it's enough to get us on by. I'm going to head for the objective point. There's some more herbs right there. Let's grab those. There's more herbs around here somewhere, too. I would take them in a heartbeat. It's kind of dark and grim, man. One might even call it grim dark out here. I feel like my eyesight is not being trustworthy. So that just goes out the back door. Is there anything else in here that looks good? That door is shut. Maybe I can get up here? Nope, nothing up there. I was hoping maybe there'd be like some uber secret loot up there, but I guess not. What do we have over here? A telescope, a magnifying lens. A round box, like a hat box. What is that? Sunglasses? Can I wear those? I am apparently afraid right now. Is there anything on the shelf? Doesn't look like Can I do anything with the med box? I don't know if that's like a fire hose or if that's like a medical box. I'm assuming that it's not a medical box since I can't interact with it. It's got to be some kind of like fire thing. We have barley, an iron, and a zap stick. Okay. Anything else around the back that might be helpful? It's like, I'll be honest, these buildings were sort of like goose eggs for useless or for usefulness. They were not super helpful. What is that? A capacitor? I'll take it, just because I've got a feeling it might be used in like electrical weapon modifications or something like that. Like, maybe to add some shockiness to some of our weapons. Can I climb this right here? Looks like I can't. Okay. Well, let's just help. Let's let's go for the objective then. Oh, that's a creature. <laughs> oh. Apparently, he's got my foot. Okay. I mean, we survived it, but we're pretty the worst for wear right now. Got some leather and some raw meat. Okay. 
As I say, our vision looks a little blurry right now. It's not looking good. I'm trying to head for the objective, but man, there's so many creatures everywhere, and they all do a ton of damage. Definitely not pulling any punches on me right now. I don't know if I can walk through that. Maybe I'll try to go around. That seems a little bit dangerous, and you guys know that I'm risk averse. I've never been the kind of person that wants to put the cards on the table and just see where they fall. It's just not me. What in the actual hell is that thing? Dude, where have you taken me right now? Like, we're out here on this island like... Na -na 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 like... Some kind of weird spider sore? Like, damn, dude. It's a little creepy. Let's, like, make a mental note to not go that way. It kind of reminds me of that thing from Metal Gear Survive. I don't know what that thing was either. That giant, like, walking caterpillar monster thing. I don't know if you guys ever played that game. <laughs> but in Metal Gear Survive, there was, like, this big, like, caterpillar monster gropey thing that, like, walked around the map that took up, like, the entire screen. It was ginormous. And you really just kind of had to, like, avoid... What the... What is that? It's like a bloody tree stump, but I'm not sure that's... It looks like some kind of sea creature. It is. There's its eye right there. Ugh, it's like a three-eyed whale. Weird. There's a bunch of them over here. Oh, my God. There's like an entire beach full of them. What killed them? Was it you, Spider Monster? Was it you? Be honest. I have no law enforcement credential whatsoever, so you can be honest with me. Can't loot the dead guy. Somebody boarded up their trailer over here. Say, look like there was an anomaly right there. I get the feeling that I'm about to get eight. That's the feeling that I'm getting. Uh, we can drink, we can eat. We're healing a little bit right now. We've got some perk points at the moment. I reached level four to unlock knowledge. You still haven't studied any skills. So I can study perks. All right. So we've got live wire. The harsh conditions of Granichny have made your body stronger. Your maximum health has increased to 125%. That sounds pretty good. Continuous training has raised your stamina. That also sounds pretty good because I'm running out of stamina like every single fight we get into. And then our skills for growing weapon have grown. I'm going to go with the extra. Yeah, let's go with that. And then we've got an ability. One man's trash. Dismantling unnecessary items is useful. Scrap is an important resource for generating items and for Granichny's economy. Okay, we can dismantle items for scrap. This gives us double components when we craft. Oh, the game don't pause. I mean, I killed that dude. I feel pretty proud of myself for killing him. That's the first fight we've done so far where I haven't taken, like, an insane amount of damage. I think I saw an herb over here. I do see an herb. Hold on, we need this. Our health is, like, super bad right now. We have, like, zero wiggle room to get hit. And given my relative lack of luck when it comes to getting hit, I'm pretty sure I want to heal because I'm not good at a lot of things. One thing I've learned about myself in this playthrough so far, it's only been, like, 25 minutes... One thing I've learned about myself so far is that among all of my non-skills, one of my have skills is that I'm really, really good at getting hit. And so our stick is going to break pretty soon, too. And I don't really, like, relish the thought of having to fight with my bare hands. It does look like there's more buildings over there. Maybe I should have gone back and, like, taken a better look at it. Maybe there would have been more stuff. Like, I think what happened is I came down the hill, like, right here, and so I missed all those buildings back there. No. No. <laughs> nah, we're pretty tore up right now. Yeah, I think he, like, dodged us. Like, I think that little duck move is supposed to be, like, some kind of weird clandestine dodge. I don't know. 
It'd be nice if I could just make bandages without actually needing the herbs, because there goes all of our health right there, unfortunately. I don't know what the right call is, like whether I should go back. Yeah, let's go back. I'm gonna go back to the pier and see if I can arm myself better back there, because this is... Damn it, there's another one over here. Yeah, I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. I think the combat's a little clunky from what I've seen so far. I guess I'll go back to base. Oh, it put me all the way back here. Okay. Well, there's a stick. Apparently, I failed to search a metal box. Oh, they gave me a bunch of freebies inside of the... Damn it, son. Damn it. Although, was that even there before? I don't even know if that was there previously. Either way, maybe I should have looked around a little bit better. It's possible. I'm gonna go back outside. Honestly, this kind of helps us. This puts me closer to the, the little harbor area than we are right now. And plus, we didn't lose any XP or anything. So, like, we should be able to level up a little bit and get stronger, too. I don't know if I drop all my loot every time I die. It doesn't look like I do. Oh, no, I did. I think I dropped all my loot when I died. I think. Yeah, I did. I dropped all my loot. Okay. So, we're gonna have to figure that out. This actually looks like a different spawn. I'm not, like, positive about that. But it kind of looks like a different spot than we were last time. I wonder if I lost any of my XP. It's good that they gave me another weapon, though. I appreciate that. That was generous of them, along with some healing items or whatever. I'm going to try and stay away from critters for right now. Hit the flashlight real fast and see if I can get back over to my body and pick up all the goodies. Then we'll go back to the campfire and we'll see what we can cook slash prepare slash make. Got an anomaly over there. So I died right here. There it is. Okay, so let's take all of the stuff. And so we've got to find the lighthouse inside sector F8. Instead, I'm going to ignore that objective. And I'm going to go back over to the harbor and see if I can loot it. <laughs> that actually worked surprisingly well. That strategy worked amazingly. Apparently, I gotta treat this like Bloodborne, and you gotta hit him with a pistol at just, like, right the right time. But instead of a pistol, all we have is, like, lithic fragments, you know what I mean? So, we're gonna make this happen. We're gonna make it happen. Uh, let's head back this way. I don't know exactly how far I have to go until I hit the harbor, but it looks like there's something over here. So, we'll try to hit it all while we're, like, in the area. Yeah, I would like for you to not be alive anymore. Go away, door. I assume at some point I'm going to get a lot better at fighting, but for right now, I think we're sort of treading water in that regard. So we're back on the tracks. Can't tell if there's something up there or not. I'm just trying to keep an eye out in all fairness for... What is that? Is that an anomaly? Oh, no, that's like a dude with a torch. Yeah, let's keep that on the d -low then. Let's not... Oh, never mind. He already... I don't know. He's, like, running around over there, and I don't want to fight him because he's scary. All right? He has learned the secret of man's great fire, and that leads me to believe that maybe he's not to be trifled with. So this is the outbuilding right here. We already searched this, but if we go back to the east, I think we should be looking at some new stuff. Like, I think I must have missed, like, a big loot area or something like that when we started out. I must have just, like, gone over the top of it or whatever. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. There's, like, a little pier area over here. Oh, Christ. I'm gonna dodge that rock. Yeah, it looks like you can't really interrupt their attack animations. What is that, a creepy-ass doll? All right. Let's look at our skills and see what we've learned here. We might as well study. Breathe in, breathe out. Your max stress tolerance has gone up. Or we can increase our stamina again. I'm going to go with health, actually. And then for our perks, we've got one man's trash, transmutation, or merchant. I'm going to go with one man's trash so that I can break stuff down. So we've got skills and perks now. Looks good. My name is Splattercat. We're out of time for right now, unfortunately. This game is called Desolate.
I hope you guys enjoyed my little intro to it. We'll probably do a little bit more, just so we can get a little bit further into the game and figure out what it's got going on. So far, my main observations are that, like, the game world is very, very atmospheric. However, the combat is a little bit clunky. So we'll see, like, if this game ends up to be more than the sum of its total parts, or if it ends up just kind of being what it is on the surface, okay? I will see you all later. Thank you for stopping on by. If you wanted to get the game for yourself, you can get it down below in the description. As per always, uh, hi-do, and I'll see you.